I have been obsessed with Bridgerton lately, and anytime I watch Bridgerton, which by the way is the third time, I always get obsessed with Pride and Prejudice, and I want to do these little soft, flirty nails. So that's what we are doing today. It's like a step-by-step -step for watercoloring, a beautiful pastel nail art. As you can see, I have a broken nail. I have had six broken nails over the last month due to my lovely foster dog who is up on a website right now. So everybody cross your fingers and hope we find Miss Luna a home very, very soon because she needs one. She needs a better home. She's not a good fit for us, but she's such a sweet girl and needs a good home. So anyway, nails. We're talking about nails today. Social Ladder from Sinful Colors, I think is kind of in their core collection. Uh, you may still be able to find this one out there, but I really wanted to show the painting on this one because I find this to be a very unique polish in that it has some shimmer in it. So it's kind of not quite a pearl polish, per like a pearlescent polish, but it has a very fine shimmer in it. What's cool about that is if you look at the nails that are dry on the first coat, it's kind of a fancier, your natural nails, but better color. But on top of that, if you go in and put in a second color, it's still a little bit transparent, but it makes it much more opaque. And what I think would be beautiful for like wedding nails or something along those lines where you want to do something very pretty and natural, but just a little oomph to it. Such a good color for that. Um, really like this one. Honestly, I'm going to be on the hunt for it because my bottle's getting a little low and I would like to keep it. So, um, yeah, I like this color. You know, I'm not normally somebody like, you know, if you went three coats, you could probably get it fully opaque, but for me i do two coats and if it's sheer it's just sheer that's just how i am i'm kind of a brat about it not gonna lie um and if you hear noises in the background these dogs are just riled up today and i can either yell at them or i can just let them be noisy so for the moment i'm gonna take the break and let them be noisy <laughs> i am gonna go ahead and top coat this with some sally hansen dries instantly polish and if you notice you can see the shimmer nicely on the other nails that are already kind of dry but once you put that top coat on it it just gives it a little vroom vroom it's so pretty i know i'm just kind of like raving about this color and even though i don't normally like sheer colors they normally irritate me i really like this one a lot so i'm gonna stop talking about that now um, some surprises coming up soon while I paint. I am moving my nail studio and there may or may not be a certain Jilly's Nails dad who built some awesome custom nail polish shelves. So I'm taking vacation the rest of this week to get a root canal and, uh, <laughs> which is part of why I haven't been on so much. I've been in a lot of pain lately. So I have to get a root canal and then I'm moving my studio and hopefully i um, not sure whether you'll appreciate this later or not, but to put my big mug on camera a little bit more so you can actually see me. Um, that's my hope. So cross your fingers. All of that goes smooth and well. And yes, I will make a video showing you the old new room versus the new room. So what we're doing here, I'm prepping this for watercolor. This is Greyjoy from Maniology. It's one of my all-time favorite gray stamping polishes. I love this one. I'm using it to just lay down a very light outline. This is kind of the medium gray in the Maniology collections. Um, I think it's called Luna is the lightest one. And then Gray Joy is kind of in the middle and then Storm Cloud is a dark gray. Like it's not black, but it's not a light gray by any means. And because I'm so inspired by like the Bridgerton, Sense and Sensibility, Jane Austen kind of um, timeline, I just wanted this to be very simple and maybe a little whimsy and kind of romantic so this little plate from queen um i'll link the collection for those before these were some of the first stamping plates i ever received i've received them as a gift um, i really enjoy their plates i think they're very nice i've never had problems stamping with them except for that first time um, but who hasn't had a problem the first time they tried to stamp and if you're one of those people go away because i'm a little mad at you <laughs> um and it, this is going to be so fun. This is kind of like lead lighting, which I know I haven't talked about, but it's where you put your design down first and then you kind of fill in the colors. That's lead lighting. But we're going to do that with watercolor. So because I'm doing that with watercolor, I am going to go ahead and put a matte top coat on so that the watercolor will have something to stick to. 
If you do this over a shiny top coat and you put watercolor or water or anything like that, it's just going to beat up and roll off. That's the whole kind of purpose of polish. So if you put a matte top coat on there, it gives it just enough texture that the watercolor paints can stick to the nail. And then you can either leave it matte and put another matte top coat on, or you can go back in and watercolor, you know, a shiny top coat, not watercolor. So I've got everything in there. These are my watercolors. I've shown them several times now. I got them off of Amazon for like seven or eight dollars. They're freaking awesome. I love them. Um, if there's better watercolors out there, I don't know it yet. <laughs> I'm really enjoying these a lot. I prefer to work with them pretty thin. So what I do is I have a squirt bottle and the lid comes off and turns into a palette. So I'll spray water like um, on the actual watercolors and then I'll kind of start mixing them in the little palette from the lid. And then that way when you're finished, you can just go in with a paper towel and wipe them all out. They're dry. It's clean. Done super easy and I just have a little tiny squirt bottle just enough to get the colors wet so that I can move them from the palette into the other palette now this looks really bright and neon and in your face this does not dry this way it is much better with watercolor in my opinion on nails to go in lightly and let it dry because a lot of times when these colors dry, they get so much brighter. Now, when you see this and finished in the final photo, it looks really muted and really toned down. And it is, but it's not. It's like the places where you want it to have that kind of antique look to it, it really does. But the places that the colors need to pop, they really do. So it's a really interesting technique for this. And I'm just going in and picking various colors. Like I've got kind of the, you know, hot pink, a little bit of a purple and some green. And I'm just kind of dabbing it around. If you put too much on, you can always just take your brush and tap it again. And it will lift some of the color back out. And use it in another spot. No big deal. Um, watercolor is very forgiving. And if worse absolutely comes to worse, you can wash your hands at this point. It may take off some of the stamping. No, because we sealed it. Did we seal it? No. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I think I sealed it. So if you seal the outline first, put your matte top coat on, and then you can go back in and paint on top of it. And all of your outlines will still be there and you can get rid of anything you don't like. I haven't personally had to do that yet. I've kind of had some painting classes, you know, a few. Um, the local library here offers them. It's freaking awesome. They give you all the supplies and everything. So there was about a year I took some painting classes, but it was more like tracing and then color it in. So I may have a little edge on this, but I did not find this hard to do at all. Um, you just kind of tap, move it around. If they're, like I said, if there's too much, take your brush, tap off any extra. You can dab it with your finger to take off extra, whatever you want to do. I do find again, light thin coats, it's better to have to paint it twice than to have to do it too dark and go wash your hands and take it off and all that mess. And it really doesn't take much time. I left it like this so you can see, I mean, this is real time. There's no been no cuts through this. So you can see this is exactly how long it took me to do this, which is about two minutes of the video, I think. Maybe two and a half, maybe three, maybe, but it doesn't take long. And so after everything was dry, I just went through and started peeling off my latex. Um, again, I use this one. It's a Halloween one that I got off of Amazon. I'll link that below too. I'm discovering more and more that it is better to paint this thicker to get it to come off easier. Um, if you do it super thin, it's kind of hard to get it off. It tends to stick a little more. But that's really what it was designed for was to make like zombie faces and that kind of stuff with it. So it's not the product. It's just the way I'm using the product. So if you enjoy it, please do you know put it on a little bit thicker I've found that that helps so I'm going to go through and top coat everything now and do you see how soft and pretty the background is but the pinks pop when the pinks need to but in person they don't look neon and in your face you're just kind of like oh those are those are pretty and let me tell you I'm recording this or I'm doing the voiceover about 10 days later because again I haven't felt well my mouth has been sore so it's kind of hard to talk um <laughs> and I talk all day on the phone for a living so at the end of the day I'm over it um 
But see how soft and just gentle and pretty. It gives me that very much like soft romantic kind of Pride and Prejudice era nail art with a little whimsy because the flowers are kind of cutesy. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to try the watercolors. I'm very curious how many of you have tried those since I've talked about them. And uh, let me know if you like it. If you have any questions, drop them below. And as always, there's a video in the upper right hand corner if you want to check out another one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.